Hi Gemini, this is Jackie Thomas. This is your general reading for the week of May 15th, 2017. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget to check out your weekend and your monthly videos as well. And if you're enjoying them, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. If you're looking for a personal reading, please join me on my website at www.ms-swami.com and you'll find a link to that below these videos. Gemini, you've got a really strong energy week ahead of you, but it's also a little scattered energy. And the scattered energy is what I'm going to describe as restless energy. There's that need for contentment. There's need for freedom. There's a need for change for some of you. Your communication sector is open, so some of you are going to really stand up and voice your opinion. But overall, it looks like a week of decisions with good luck on your side. So this is for Gemini for the week of May 15th. 2017. Okay, Gemini, we start with the Queen of Wands, followed by the Page of Pentacles, followed by the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles going on around you guys. A lot of things going on with the finances. And this is where I'm seeing a lot of you having to voice your opinion or make some of those decisions on. Um, also, this jumps out too that a Capricorn may resonate with some of you guys this week. So starting with, you're in a good spot. Your balance is being restored and you're pushing forward. And very much so And what I'm going to describe as a positive light. Your Page of Pentacles. Um, this is an offer of assistance, and I see that here with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Um, for some of you, this is investments. This is working with someone else. This could be loans. This could be mortgage loans, car loans, things like that. But there's definitely some going on with the financial sector, communicating with others on the finances this week. The Five of Pentacles shows... Financial concerns. Um, rest assured, I don't see anything negative. It does look like things are going to go to your advantage here. Uh, and then we have that four swords. It just says, guys, you need to get out of your own head and you need to rest. Okay? Don't dwell on this too much. Eight of Pentacles going right back to the financial sector of working and gaining. For some of you, this is new money. This is a second job. This is something in addition to. So definitely something or something you've been waiting on is coming through to you. Moving forward, we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords. And we have the Eight of Swords. Knight of Wands, changes on the home front. For a lot of you, this is someone moving in the home, someone moving out the home, but definitely some type of movement going on on the home front. Queen of Swords, be advised, this is someone with a sharp tongue. This is someone who may get a little catty with you, lash out at you, someone that may voice their opinion to you, where I see you voicing your opinion as well. And then we have the Eight of Swords, guys. So remember this when I say get out of your own head. Take a look at this card. This is what I call self-imposed restrictions. No one is holding you back but yourself. Move forward. There's no reason here for you not to. It's a good energy week. Notice you have no major arcanas in the spread for the week. Um, just things are pretty much at an even kill. And sometimes, Gemini, you don't know what to do with that. But ultimately, you've got a great week ahead. A lot geared towards your financial sector, but all in a very positive light. So thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.